Hey everybody, Jay again with Frontier Precision. I uh, just wanted to make a quick update video um, on the video I posted yesterday about the um, integration with the RD cable and pipe locators and Trimble Access. Um, there was one part in the video where um, I showed a zoomed in view of the, the actual locator, the wand part, and it was giving me depths of uh, one feet, six inches, I believe. And it made me start to question um, if I was getting proper depths, um, just because I expected the utility to be a little bit deeper than that. Um, I also um, knew at the time and noted that um, I was using a clamp and not a direct um, connection. So I, knowing that, I, I figured you know there'd be a little bit more um, slop in the in the depth reading, and it wouldn't maybe be as accurate. The other thing that was kind of a, a, a red flag is when I brought the data into TBC, that's what I've got right here, is you know we can see the, the data underground, but where it goes into the PED, you can see you know where it comes in is a lot deeper than where it goes out. So I was worried I had maybe like a little shift there or something like that. Um, one thing that was interesting is the uh, line was run last night, and, or yesterday, and we looked at it last night and the electrician um, took a picture of the the new power line underneath that existing fiber line and he made the comment that that fiber line was only down 18 inches um, which was was just something that that stood out to him so he took a picture of it so what's interesting is um, the line actually was at a foot and a half uh, and this whole time we thought eh, maybe it was a little bit off but it turns out it was actually very accurate um, even with the clamp and that's where the line was at so what's interesting and in, in talking with some people um, when that fiber was laid it was known that it was going to come out eventually so they probably didn't plow it in as deep as they normally would have um, but just was kind of cool um, to take something that we thought maybe was a little bit of a, a hiccup or whatever in the system and turned out it was actually performing better than we thought it would so that's pretty cool so here's the data in TBC I just want to show one other kind of cool thing um, that you can do with this data. Notice that you have uh, a point on the ground and then you also have the utility point underneath. And there's not a, not a specific um, like utility depth report yet. Um, that's something hopefully that I can, I can work on here. But one just little tidbit for you is you can go to your Project Explorer and let's say we'll just grab these uh, 200 series, this, this part of the line. Um, over here that we thought was deeper than what the reading was and I can simply go up and grab a point comparison report and what that's going to do is it's going to compare all of my um, utility points underground so the ones without the the suffix to their corresponding point above and basically it's just a nice quick little readout of what my depths are and you can see right on this um, 202, 203, 204. That's kind of right in right in here is where the the crossing was made. Um, you can see in the here it is in the report that that's about the depths um, that we're working with is right around that foot and a half. So um, just again, just kind of a cool little way to field check and verify that everything's working as it should. And I thought that was just kind of a kind of a neat thing. So I want to share that with you guys. So on to the next one. Thanks. See ya.